<laughs> wow, I'm, I'm actually really impressed. And welcome to Radical Underdogs. Uh, this is a slightly different video this time. We are going to be talking to ChatGPT and asking it to set up the MX-5 race car. The ChatGPT is a text-based program. So in the edit, I have put this to the words of an avatar to make it slightly better for camera. So let's get straight into it. Um, Hi, I've got a Mazda MX-5 NA Mark I race car. What is the best suspension setup? The best suspension setup for a Mazda MX-5 can vary depending on several factors, such as driving style, intended use, track, street, autocross, and personal preference. Okay, I'm just going to stop that there. It's quite general, the answer there. It's not really what I was looking for. Um, although there is a video on MX-5 mods that I've done to the race car that I've just ready. I'm going to get a bit much more specific now. Um, what is the best cross weight for the race car? In general, a well-balanced race car should have a cross weight of around 50%. I'm a bit worried that that answer might be a bit general. So um, I'm going to ask, is 50% a good place to start for the Mazda MX-5 NA race car? Yes, 50% cross weight is a good starting point for a Mazda MX-5 and a race car. This provides a neutral handling balance, making the car easier to drive and reducing understeer or oversteer. Okay, it's getting quite specific, which is good. Uh, what are good camber settings? Here are some general camber settings to consider as a starting point for a Mazda MX-5 and a race car. Street track day use. Minus 1.5 do, minus 2.0 degrees of negative camber. Autocross. Minus 2.0 to, minus 2.5 degrees of negative camber. Circuit racing. Minus 2.5 to, minus 3.0 degrees of negative camber. It's worth noting that these are general guidelines and that the best camber settings for your specific situation may be different. And again, it's a bit general, we're going to pin it down a bit here. So I'm going to say, um, should the front and rear be different? This is for a Mazda MX-5 race car racing at Donington Park. Here's a general starting point for camber settings for a Mazda MX-5 and a race car racing at Donington Park. Front, minus 2.5 to, minus 3.0 degrees of negative camber. Rear, minus 2.0 to, minus 2.5 degrees of negative camber. That's, that's much better. Um, my next question is, uh, what is a good starting point for tow? The amount of tow can have a significant impact on the handling balance and stability of a race car. Here's a general starting point for tow settings for a Mazda MX-5 and a race car. Front, 0 to 0.25 degrees of tow in. Rear, 0 to 0.25 degrees of tow in. And is that in general or at Donington Park specifically? The starting point for tow settings that I provided is a general guideline and can be used as a starting point for any track, including Donington Park. Uh, what about spring rates? The ideal spring rate for a Mazda MX-5 in a race car can vary depending on several factors, such as track conditions, driving style, tire compound, and weight distribution. Here's a general starting point for spring rates for a Mazda MX-5 in a race car. Front, 400 to 500 pounds per inch. Rear, 350 to 450 pounds per inch. That, that was all pretty good, so I'm going to give it a much more difficult question now. Uh, I'm fitted with Gaz Gold Pro coilovers. What is a good starting point for hardness in the number of clicks? Here's a general starting point for hardness settings for Gaz Gold Pro coilovers on a Mazda MX-5 in a race car. Front, 8 to 10 clicks from full soft. Rear, 6 to 8 clicks from full soft. <laughs> wow, I'm, I'm actually really impressed uh, with that. Um, there's nothing else really to ask it on that. So I'm going to move over to... Um, what is a good place to start with um, the tyre pressures when hot? Here's a general starting point for hot tyre pressures. Front, 28 to 32 psi. Rear, 28 to 32 psi. And what about when it's wet? When racing in wet conditions, it's important to adjust your tyre pressure to account for the decrease in grip that typically occurs. Here's a general starting point for hot tyre pressures. Front, 26 to 30 psi. Rear, 26 to 30 psi. Okay, the proof of the pudding is going to be in the eating. We're going to set the car up uh, and we're going to take the car out to Donington Park. Uh, that will be next time. So please do, uh, if you want to see that, do subscribe, hit the bell icon and uh, catch you again next time.